So this past Friday, we talked about uh, Black Mifu Kong, or they tried to get an uh, extort, uh, ex basically extorted by Sweet Baby, and it didn't work. But the thing is, we also talked about the IGN article. Remember, we talked about the IGN article, and it came from uh, Rebecca Valentine, and I guess she had since made a release theme. All right, so if we actually go over here, it comes up from Grums on X, and uh, uh, he says, uh, IGN releases a statement via original Black Myth author, uh, Wukong hit piece author, uh, Rebecca Valentine, fails to address the mistranslated text, demands developer address her false claims against them. All right, let's see what this, I, I'm gonna make a bigger window. All right, here we go, we're gonna read it together. About a report from last year la uh, by Rebecca Valentine, uh, the piece of shit that she is. Uh, last year, we published a comprehensive report on IGN detailing a number of sexist and inappropriate remarks made by multiple developers of Black Myth Wukong, including those in the leadership roles at the games, uh, sorry, at Game Science. As of uh, the publication of this preview, Game Science has yet to provide any response or statement addressing our report or their past remarks. Good, good, man. Fuck, fuck this person. Who? Who are you to actually go and ask Game Science, hey, what are your thoughts on, uh, on this? Are you gonna say anything? Who cares? Do you, like Game Science and uh, who, whoever the CEO is, uh, the, 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 you know, that's uh, the senior leadership person over there, whoever, don't give a rat's ass about IGN. Screw them. Their, whatever their thoughts are, don't matter. Actually does not matter, right? Hey, Andrew's live stream earlier was pretty interesting. Yeah, I heard about this from side scrollers earlier today. Yeah, this is absolutely nuts. Like Mitchell, I had the opportunity to see Black Myth Wukong at Summer Game Fest, though my appointment was immediately a little strange. I was told as part of my invitation that Game Science would have a statement related to the reports of sexism. I arrived at the appointment and saw the game as planned, but when I asked for the promised statement, I was told by PR representative Game Science is focused on a demo during play days and will only answer questions if like, oh, everything related to the gameplay. <laughs> Got him. Oh man. Got him. Yeah, sure. Come by and play it. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. We don't want to talk to your dumbass, slanderous bitch, bullcrap from freaking San Francisco trying to make us look bad, calling us sexist. And these are allegations. And, you know, you have these people who are like anonymous, pseudonym, like Jen. Like, who? Are you serious? Are you freaking? This is this is so, so stupid. But good. Wait, you basically. I love the fact that game science wasted this bitch's time. Mitchell's preview doesn't need my validation, but for what it's worth, I fully back everything he's written here. Black Myth Wukong looks like it'll be a great game. It's gorgeous, with a snappy combat, fantastic monster design, and some really interesting boss fights. It is also true that several of the people who are making it have made disparaging remarks about women <laughs> and uh, don't seem to be interested in either in retracting their past statements or in supporting the numerous women who are being harassed online conversations about Black Myth Wukong purely for expressing their discomfort with those statements. Okay, like I said before in my pretty previous video, we need concrete proof that this is an actual thing, right? That you are not making this up that this, what you are saying actually has merit. And I, not, not that we need evidence, we need hard proof, okay? This is extremely slanderous. And what you are trying to say is very, very damaging to the company. Now, what what I would do if I was the people, the CEO, the leadership at Game Size, I would sue IGN for defamation, right? Because this is making their game and their company look really, really bad. And it's absolutely not true. Because if it is true, you would release some kind of evidence, but you do not have that. Let's continue. Both of, their, uh, both of these ideas can exist simultaneously. What audiences want to do about this conflict is ultimately their choice. Do you know what I'm going to do? Chat, do you know what I'm going to do? The release of the game, I will be, I'll be doing two giveaways, okay? I'll be doing two giveaways. First one is for Sweet Baby. Second one is for IGN. I'll be doing two giveaways for Black Myth Wukong, and I will probably do it for PC. It'll probably be easier for PC, right? I'll be doing two giveaways, all right, chat? This, this, this is insane. I'll be buying three copies, one for me and two for giveaways, okay? 
Uh, one last note, I didn't see any women or femme coded characters in the demo, and I was able to confirm from game science that there were none present in the section of the game presented to the press. No freaking shit. You're playing as a monkey, a male monkey who was born from a rock, who was born from stone with fur that's golden, that has to escort a sage or a monk to bring scriptures to Buddha. You have the pig demon and the fish demon and the horse demon that's following you all, all along that's trying to repent and be a good person, okay? Along with Sun Wukong. Furthermore, there are women in this game, but they are usually bad guys, all right? There's actually a city or a country, I forgot what, what it's called. I think it might be a city or a province in the, uh, in, it, it, within Journey to the West that's all women. They're all freaking women, all right? And then we have all the snake demons and all the spider demons are all women. So, oh, I haven't seen anything. That's good. That's very good. Do you know why? I guarantee that 85% of the demographic are all men. Just like the one that Capcom released in their survey. Uh, there will be women in the final game for... But for now, it is impossible to really comment on whether or not game science developers expressed beliefs permeate Black Myth Wukong in a meaningful way. Man, this, this is such bullcrap, man. The thing is, it, it, gets, it gets even worse. I have this one pulled up right over here. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. So uh, you can't really see my, my dumbass face is blocking away. It says, Quar may be a mixed Chinese from Singapore, but as a Singaporean, I know for a fact that Singaporean Chinese's Mandarin are bad even if one would, would, I would uh, have taken higher Chinese in school. It will never match those in China that speak and live the language. Main language being used in Singapore is English, right? Basically, this person right over here, uh, what's her name? Tessa. Uh, these articles are from last year. The dates are right there and B, I did not ever claim uh, to be from PRCs y'all can't read. I'm ethnically Chinese. I have lived in Asia my whole life, so I care about Asian games. So I am not posting proof because I am not Obama. What? Obama lies all the time! Okay, so, okay, so, okay, 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 uh, some are trying to say that the account of Black Myth Wukong devs being extorted for 7 million by Sweet Baby is fabricated, perhaps not. Black Myth Wukong developer accused of sexist, unprofessional work culture. And here's another one. I'm Chinese and Black Myth Wukong doesn't excite me as much as it should be. I mean, as much as it should. Okay, and here, furthermore, here's another one. Here's, here's another cutout. But then there are controversy. In 2020, comments from Game Science founder CEO Feng Ji sparked a debate about the treatment of female gamers who had been proposing boycotts. On the day that the trailer released, Feng made a post on Weibo. I want to expand our workforce and hire more people. I want... I want to be... licked so much that I can't have an erection anymore. He wrote following Black Myth Wukong's 2020. I know you guys just happen to be so horny. I'm glad that the trailer has given you such so, uh, you some satisfaction. My goal is to give blowjobs to people who appreciate my work and help people share my vision to achieve orgasm. This is insane! This is actually insane. Did you see the Steam wishlist? Oh, we'll, we'll check that out afterwards. That's actually insane, man. I'm pretty sure this is extremely wrong. Ex oh my god, dude. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to read this right now. Hold on, let's zoom in a little bit more. In another post about the trailer, he said, Now I feel pressure in my pants. These are weird and kind of gross statements to make on a public forum. Uh, to be sure, but not necessarily indicative of bigotry. However, some also cited the company's 2015 recruiting advertisements, which are highly inexplicably sexualized, making some feel it indicated a sexist company culture. Uh, he also said that Black Myth Wukong needed no female players alongside some of the stereotypes about women and gay people. Oh my god, this is so stupid, man. This is this is so dumb. Okay, so this, this uh, right over here, this person is trying to translate. Not to mention that the way that Singaporeans speak Chinese is similar to Singlish and more simple. The way we refer things is vastly different too. Majority of Singaporeans would not even know much on using idioms and or metaphors when we speak Chinese. 
Uh, this one is translated right over here. This is a metaphor that most Singaporeans would I, I, de I definitely have no idea and would translate word for word. So basically, this is what that person said, right? Licked until I get an erection. Clearly a metaphor. It's just a way of expressing the joy of being recognized for the team's achievement. Now, here's the thing. I actually read that he actually said, I don't, this, like, I don't need, like, to be brown nose. I'm just really, really, really excited that this, that this game is coming out and everyone's super, super happy for it, right? This is insane, man. This is actually crazy. And yes, game science should sue, should sue, uh, what's it called again? Uh, IGN for, uh, for slander. Not, 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 it, this is crazy, man. Those in the know would know machine translators do a bad job in translating many metaphors and idioms in Chinese and Japanese, etc. Like I, like what I did here, a simple search in Chinese and from the PRC Chinese natives would shed light on what it actually meant. Same goes for a lot of other examples that they translated their metaphors. Note, also different region, countries, Chinese usage, defer as well, uh, and you got to translate based on where the natives are from. So here's the thing. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those Chinese people who actually read Chinese. Uh, so yeah, but, but the, the thing is that, if you guys don't know, China, China, especially China, has this thing called saving face. And they do not like looking stupid or embarrassed in public. So they typically watch what they say, right? They, they will never go out of their way to make themselves or the company or the country look bad. So they will say things properly. They will say things with respect. And like I, like I said before, like licked until I can't, I, I couldn't get an erection. That's absolutely mistranslated by the Singaporean person. God, man, this is so stupid. Now, another one right over here. This is actually from the horse, horse's mouth. All right. I want to expand my circle and hire more people. Get licked and I can't get an erection, which is uh, incorrectly translated. He said, I wanted to expand, right? The quote right over here, the text translate literally to want to expand circle and recruit few more people but i got licked to the point i unable to get an erection i believe he said that he wants to cr recruit and expand his company but the thing is that he gets a lot of people who are brown nosing so that's extremely um extremely like like disingenuous the phrase which i don't know what that is is an idiom used in chinese language as colloquial expression used uh, humorously or sarcastically to describe the situation where excessive flattery and uh, uh, sycophancy has an overwhelming and paralyzing effect on someone. The use of such metaphors can be found in formal speech or on, on social media. This is this is absolutely absolutely crazy, man. Like I I can't believe these people. Yeah, yeah. Like 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 this this guy needs to come out along with the company and basically sue IGN. Like th th this is not even not even a freaking like um you know it's 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 it, this is on top of the sweet baby ink stuff right that's crazy that's actually insane man let's see uh how does uh ign call out blizzard for sexist work environment i'm just curious i don't know i don't know if if sweet baby ink is extorting it might it may be um uh tortious interference but international litigation is something i wouldn't know about yeah that's 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 actually insane all right let's go and check out the black myth wukong uh wish list steam okay let's let, let's see how crazy this is let's see um uh let me see let me see how many how many people are are are, are super 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 crazy about it let's see how many people wish list where can i actually check the wish list where can i check where can i check that wait hold on i think i might be able to find it i think i might be able to find it uh okay all right cool i found it there it is this comes with some grums as well and right over here damn black myth wukong is the number one follower most wish list upcoming steam games there it is there it is man Four hundred thousand people number four top seller right now holy crap it beat out monster hunter wilds and first descendant there it is I, this game needs to succeed. This game will succeed in my opinion. It looks great. 
the, 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 the we're gonna check out some gameplay for sure but this game looks great and like i said chat um if you guys want if you guys actually want uh what's it called again uh uh a, a copy of it i'll be doing a giveaway when they're released but yeah this this whole sweet baby thing ign garbage it's it's getting out of control man and uh pe yeah, and pe people from china could give two shits about what these westerners think but yeah these this crazy crazy guaylo jays man holy crap